Hi, today I'll show you how to create custom folders for the home screen of your Sega Genesis Mini by using Hachi. You can do this a variety of ways, and I choose to divide my games by genre, or you can separate it by video game consoles. Hachi actually comes with images to use as the folder covers, but these are actual custom images I have. So I'm going to show you how to use your own images. To start, I created a folder containing all the images I want to use. As you can see, I have my own image for each action games, adventure, beat em ups, hacking slash, and so on. You can actually use any images as long as they are PNG files and are 306 by 428 pixels. Now, if you don't have any images, then no worries because Hachi comes with its own sets of images. First, go to your folder containing the Hachi application. So for me, that would be this Hachi folder I created that has all the files I downloaded from the Hachi GitHub page. I'm going to drag my genre folder into the folder images. The folder images also contain all the default images that Hachi has to offer. So I'm going to go into the folder images to show you what images comes with Hachi. We can see my folder with my custom images. I put this folder here so Hachi can load it. Now let's look at the other Hachi images. If you want to separate your games by the console, Hachi gives you these little icons. If you don't like the icons, you could go into this folder called the WES 1981 Genesis. And let me enlarge this. It will give you Sega Genesis folders to separate your games alphabetically. And as you scroll down, you will see the images for different video game consoles. Now, if you go into the next folder, the Wes 1981 Mega Drive, it is the same images, but it has the Mega Drive icon at the top of the image instead of the Genesis icon previously. Once you decide on your images, go back out and launch Hachi.exe. Open Hachi and either connect an USB memory stick to your PC or connect your Sega Mini to your PC if you have enough storage space. I am going to insert my USB drive because that is where I stored all my games and I'm not going to connect my Sega Mini. But again, if you are not using external memory, and connect your Sega Mini. The red light at the bottom should be green if you do. Now go to Structure and click on Custom Use Folders Manager. Once the Folders Manager pops up, right click anywhere on the left hand menu and click Create New Folder. Name this folder. Since I am breaking mine down by genre, I named it Action. Double click on the gray folder under menu icon to select the image. You should see the images you added or you can use the images that came with Hachi. This was why I dragged my genre folder into the folder images. Now find the game you want to put into the folder by dragging that game into physically into the folder or right clicking and then cutting and pasting. And I'm going to create another folder and drag or cut and paste the appropriate games into it. Then we have to remember to apply the images that we want to the folder. Since I have an Atari ROM, I am looking for the RetroArt image. And you repeat all these steps until all the games are in the appropriate files you created. I'm going to show you what it looks like so far just from my two folders. I'm going to click OK and then export to USB or synchronize selected games with Mini if you're not using ex external storage. Just make sure you have enough space with this option. If you select export to USB, make sure to select the correct drive. The Folders Manager will pop up again. Just click OK. 
wait for Hachi to stop syncing, and then boot up the Sega Mini. Don't forget to plug in the USB drive to the Sega Mini if you export to USB. So we can see my two folders containing the games I put into them. We can also see that I still have a lot more work to do to finish up, so I'm going to switch back to my computer, but I just skipped ahead and did all the tedious work. So this is what it will look like in Hachi after you finish sorting all the games. It took quite a bit of time to put all my games where I wanted. This time I left my USB in the Sega Mini and just connected my Sega Mini to the PC. So once again, this is the final product where all the games is nicely sorted and easier to find. And you can organize it any way you want, so be creative. Just a reminder for those who prefer to have a written guide to check out my website, segaminimods.com. It's a simple step-by-step -step guide with picture that goes over everything we cover in this video and much more. So once again, thank you so much for watching.